for all of you guys who still want to make it to the country of your choice, the UK, Canada, US, wherever you want to go, and you want to go in fall 2022, August or September 2022, that's when you're looking to go. This video is for you guys. Look, we all know it's too late. We all know that it seems like every university's deadlines have passed. But don't worry, there's still a lot of universities out there with deadlines upcoming and universities nowadays are giving admissions within 15-20 days from your date of submission of the application and we can make it happen for you. And that's what this video is about. I'm going to be giving you examples of universities with deadlines which are not passed yet. So even if you are doing it on your own, you should be able to actually utilize it, this information. If you're doing it with us, of course, we'll find more universities for you, right? Now, of course, first off, you want to go on to viangrad.com. Now you want to select the country of your choice. For instance, let's say that it's the UK, right? And if it is the UK, you have all the universities over here. Right from here, you want to take a look at all the universities that are basically a good fit for you. Now you can use the Rate My Chances tool or what you can do in case you do not have access to this is you can actually try to understand with these statistics that is this university a good fit for me or not okay once you actually find out these statistics and you know exactly what's going on right and you understand that okay this is a good fit for me right you actually go ahead check the deadlines of such universities most of these deadlines would have passed but for a lot of these the deadlines are still not passed you can see there's a lot of universities over here this is just one example it's just one country there's a lot of countries out there and i've actually shortlisted some universities from different different programs of course i'm not saying that you know from just one program i've shortlisted just for you know let's say mechanical engineering or something it's a mix some are undergraduate universities some are graduate programs and you know some are in computer science some are in mba some depend depends you know some are in other fields also so let me actually show you for instance this one is the drexel university of course popular university amongst a lot of students and this is for the MS in CS program and their deadline over here right here is mentioned for fall the deadline is 13th of June 2022 that means you still have time at the time of making this video this deadline is at least 10 days away so you can still apply to these universities all right it's a good university and there's of course better universities out there as well but of course if you want to apply to the top top 30 top 50 then you have to wait for the next term but if you feel like your profile is not worth waiting for the top 30, top 50, or you have good chances of going in this term, or you absolutely have to make it, you have such universities as well, right? That's Drexel. There's one more. There's RIT. RIT has listed all of their deadlines for their programs over here. And a lot of these are actually rolling. What that essentially means is until and unless there are seats left in the program, they will continue to accept applications. That means you can still apply for a lot of these. Yes, the priority deadlines may have passed though, please note that. But you can still apply because a lot of these are actually rolling. And if they are rolling, that means that the seats may actually be left. And what that means is you may be able to actually grab that seat that you're looking for. Again, depends on exactly which kind of a program you're looking for and whether it is rolling or not. But hopefully, you know, on this page, you can find all of that. There's, of course, more. Just like that, there's this one. This is called GWU. All right, it's George Washington University. And the... Admission deadlines right over here are mentioned July 1 for CS. Again, it depends on program to program. You know, it depends from which program you're applying to, which country of interest you have. But, you know, this is a U.S. university, for instance. July 1st is the deadline. It's still not too late for this university. You see, there's one more. Let me actually show you. This one over here is Georgia Southern University. Again, one more U.S. one. Over here, you can see the deadlines are 15th of July. So they're still far off. You still have about a month more than a month to actually apply to such universities, right? Now let's actually move on to an MBA program at the University of Bath. This is a UK university. It's not really a US university this time. And they have their MBA deadline as 31st of July, 2022. That means you almost have about two months to apply. And look at this. Right here, scholarship application deadlines, round three is 30th of June, 2022. That means you may actually even apply for around which can give you access to scholarships right now you can actually do that okay so this is essentially how it works okay you basically have to do the research you have to search for universities like depending on your program i showed you a couple of cs ones couple of mba ones this one is a horticulture program again depends on which program we are you know basically finding for the students right but when we're doing these shortlists we come across a lot of these things and uh, i just want to share that with you 
for instance this one also their deadline i'm not able to find it quite as such let me just search for it deadline right no specific deadlines applications will be reviewed and processed as received all right again the same thing over here as well this is a rolling deadline just like that okay rolling means that until an analyst is seats they will continue to accept the applications all right and of course if you can see the TOEFL scores the ALS scores all of these are pretty low the, the minimum requirements are actually pretty low for such universities Right. This is Iowa State University, which is actually not a bad university at all. Let me actually show you one more. This one is the University of Lethbridge. This one is from Canada. For people who are going for, let's say, an undergraduate program, I just checked out the deadline PDF over here. And, you know, of course, if you're going as an international student, the deadline for you guys for the application is June 15th. That means you still have about 10 days to make it to this deadline. Right, admission decision documents, you can submit them by June 30th. That means you don't even have to submit the whole documents while doing the applications, right? And final official documents have to be received by July 15th. That means you have about 30, 40 days for that. So there's a lot of time pending for universities wherein, you know, you actually know that, okay, look, they may not be the top 10, top 20, top 30, but there are universities still accepting applications. Now, if you believe that your profile is not such that it will make it to the top 30 top 40 then there's really no point wasting one year of your time right or even six months of your time going for the spring session why not just apply to these universities right now gain admission and within two three months you would be in a, in the country of your choice in a college actually studying the program of your choice so that's something that can still be happening all right it depends from person to person some people say that okay these universities are not what i want they're not my cup of tea i want only the top 30 in that case, wait and apply next year because you're too late, right? But in some cases, a lot of students are actually inclined because they maybe they don't have the time. Maybe they don't think that their profile can get into the top 30. Maybe they actually have some other reason, some personal reason, and they actually have to go. And for such students, right, it makes sense to actually go to these universities because still the ROI is pretty decent. And I know people from these, these exact universities, I know people alumni now because when we when we actually started working with them you know back three four years back right they're now passed out they're graduated for the most part and they're working jobs over there and it's 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 working well for them we're still in touch some of some of us so you know that's generally how it works and of course i'll advise you to actually take a look and of course let me know if you have any questions if you would like us to find the exact universities for you that are a good fit for your profile for fall 22 spring 23 fall 23 whichever ones you want right you can actually take a look at the services section and go on to the profile evaluation and university shortlisting service. Wherein we'll be able to create an exact shortlist for you, ambitious, moderate and safe universities with the deadlines, with the program of your choice. We'll actually take up your inputs, understand what you want and then carve out a list accordingly. It's not something random and we'll even guide you if you need understanding of which program would be right fit for your profile. All right. So that's something we can do for you. All right. And I hope that this helps. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye and take care until then. If you need any help, you know where to find us.